Right now, radiation from the largest solar storm in more than six years is pelting Mother Earth. A satellite witnessed an ultraviolet flash hitting our planet this morning after a, a solar flare from the sun erupted Sunday. Federal officials say the storm does not pose a threat, but as a precaution, some polar flights have been rerouted to avoid exposing passengers to radiation. Joined now by Derek Pitts. He's chief astronomer at the Franklin Air Institute. Derek, good afternoon to you. Thank you, Craig. Good afternoon to you, too. Storms expected to continue through tomorrow. First of all, how rare are these types of storms? The sun has a cycle of activity, Craig, that runs from peak to peak over 11 years. We're now on the way up toward the peak of that cycle of activity. It'll happen in another two years. And during this peak, these kinds of activities that we see are not so rare. We'll see more of them as we get closer to the 2013 peak. How worried should we be if these storms become more intense? Well, this particular storm is a medium-class storm, but it's very, very high in its class, right up next to the very highest class of storms. So for this particular one, it's probably not going to cause too much trouble. When we get to the X-class storms, those are the ones where we really have to be concerned about disruptions in radio communications, wireless communications, possible uh, disturbance to our power transmission systems, things of that sort, including satellite transmissions. Derek Pitts, Chief Astronomer, Franklin Institute. Derek, thank you. My pleasure, Craig. Thank you.